If we could zoom up millions of times on this magnesium metal, we'd see magnesium atoms vibrating in a crystal lattice. And while all magnesium atoms have 12 protons in the nucleus, they're not all the same. When we look even closer, we discover different types of magnesium atoms with different numbers of neutrons, and this gives them a different mass. We call these isotopes. Magnesium has three naturally occurring isotopes. One of these has 12 neutrons in the nucleus. When we add the 12 protons, we get a mass number of 24, and so we call it magnesium 24. Another isotope has 13 neutrons, and when we add the 12 protons, we get a mass number of 25. And the other has 14 neutrons, which gives a mass number of 26. So isotopes are atoms with the same number of protons, but a different number of neutrons. Whenever we take a sample of magnesium, we'll have these three isotopes present. We find that on average, 79% are magnesium-24, 10% are magnesium-25, and 11% are magnesium-26. These are called the abundancies of the isotopes. They're the relative proportion of each isotope found on Earth. Now, the chemical properties of these isotopes are exactly the same, because neutrons have no effect on the chemical behaviour of an atom. The only difference is the mass. These three isotopes represent the only stable combinations of protons and neutrons for magnesium atoms. We need either 12, 13 or 14 neutrons to keep the 12 protons bound together. If there are fewer than 12 or more than 14 neutrons, then the magnesium nucleus is unstable or radioactive. Isotopes can be summarised using nuclide notation, and we can use this notation to list the subatomic particles of the isotope. This bromine isotope has a mass number of 79. Since bromine has atomic number 35, this isotope has 35 protons. The difference between the mass number and atomic number gives 44 neutrons. And since this atom is neutral, it will also have 35 electrons. This bromine isotope has a mass number of 81. It still has 35 protons because it's bromine but the difference between the mass number and atomic number gives 46 neutrons. And of course, it still has 35 electrons to make the atom neutral. So in this video, we've seen that isotopes are atoms with the same number of protons, but a different number of neutrons, and so a different mass. We've looked at the abundance percentages of isotopes to show the relative proportions of each isotope on Earth. And we've seen that only certain combinations of protons and neutrons result in stable isotopes. Whereas other combinations will be unstable and radioactive. Finally, we use the nuclide symbols of isotopes to work out the subatomic particles in the atom.